Do you think it's a lot of undercover brothers in the industry? <laughs> Uh, oh, no, Queen. We don't know nothing about undercovers. Oh, no. We don't know. Is it possible for the barbs to protect their queen from Diddy's antics? Let me tell you, Nicki Minaj was handed around like a blunt during Diddy's freak offs, according to the streets. It's a whole new disaster every day, I promise. But Jaguar Wright is the one spreading this news, not just the typical outlets. Let's face it, some of her previous statements have proven to be accurate. People are saying that it's odd that Nicki, who is considered to be one of the most influential rappers and is credited with bringing female rap back into the mainstream, is one of the best-selling artists in the world with over 100 million records sold and that Diddy is now claiming to be the reason behind her success. The public has been investigating Nikki's ties to several industry people who are associated with Diddy. They're bringing up Lil Wayne, who has been connected to Diddy via previous partnerships and social connections, but it's not quite clear how close they were. Meek Mill was also supposedly affiliated with Diddy. Wayne and Nikki were often referred to as the king and queen of young money, and it is known that Nikki was contracted to his company Young Money Entertainment. In one video, Nikki refers to Lil Wayne as the king, and he responds, Hey honey, if you're the king and she's the queen, then you should be hitting her coochie. Now some people are watching the video again and wondering about Nikki and Lil Wayne's relationship. Drake is another whose relationship with Diddy has been rather peculiar. Recall that in 2014, Diddy smacked Drake during a public altercation at a nightclub in Miami. Outside, Diddy was stating, I gave to this ninja, and this ninja stole. I can remember how many questioned if Drake and Nikki were ever romantically linked. The allegations were so strong that Nikki herself responded to them with a song called Only, which included Chris Brown, Wayne, and Drake. I never effed Wayne, I never effed Drake, on my life. Man, for a sake, she rapped in the song. I'd manage with them and let them eat my asterisk asterisk like a cupcake if I did. During his verse, Drake mentioned it as well. I never effed Nikki because she got a man, but when that's over, I'm first in line. And I thought, got him, this is the perfect time, when driving her Maybach the other day. I suppose they believed they had made things plain, but remember that Nikki and Nas were also in a relationship. The only significant connection we are aware of between Nas and Diddy, however, is their collaboration single, Hate Me Now. Chris Brown is another person who was formerly close to Nikki. He even shared on social media that she contributed a powerful line to his record. It's funny that people are now associating Diddy with their relationship. People are recalling the weekend at Diddy's place in Miami when Chris and Rihanna reunited after Chris had physically assaulted her. Everyone is aware of what transpired between them. More alarming accusations involving some of the greatest names in the music business, such as Diddy, Nicki Minaj, and Drake, have lately been made by Jaguar Wright a notorious character renowned for making audacious claims about it. Wright doesn't always provide hard evidence, so her claims should be regarded with care, but they have generated a lot of discussion and conjecture. Diddy is involved in one of the most explosive allegations. Wright claims that Diddy sold a Nicki Minaj tape on the dark web. According to her, this occurred when Diddy was Nicki's manager. Although there is no concrete proof to support it, the notion that such a recording would be sold on the dark web, which is notorious for illicit activity, is quite sensational. Both insiders and fans have been agitated by the mere suggestion of it. Wright continued talking about Diddy's connection with Nicki Minaj while he was her manager, boldly asserting that Diddy had attempted to make Nicki into his freak-off girl. The phrase is disturbing since it implies a very improper and predatory interaction. 
This allegation adds to the extensive line of charges that have been made against Diddy throughout the years, even though it is hard to verify without more specific evidence. While some people are suspicious and think that these accusations are only unfounded rumors intended to damage Diddy's image, others say that he has a darker side and that some of them could be true. What makes Jaguar intriguing Wright's strategy is that, although though she seldom ever provides receipts or concrete proof to back up these types of charges, there have been instances when her claims have since been shown to be accurate. She has a reputation as someone who may be more than a loose cannon because of her past performance. Indeed, some industry insiders and her admirers think Wright has connections or insider information that give her the inside word on what's really going on behind the scenes in the music business. A viral moment spreading online is another aspect of Wright's assertions. Although she didn't say which viral video, she implied that Nicki Minaj herself had filmed it. This assertion has drawn attention because of Nicki's industry success and her command of her personal image. Even though it's still unclear which video Wright was referring to, the suggestion that Nicki was responsible for it gives the story Wright is telling even more interest. It's crucial to be skeptical while assessing Wright's statements, despite the fact that they seem dramatic. Many of the rumors that circulate in the music business never prove to be accurate. Furthermore, Wright has a complex history with some of the people she discusses, which might make her statements less trustworthy due to personal grudges or other motivations. Nevertheless, some of the things Jaguar Wright has claimed that at first glance appeared improbable have turned out to be true, which is one of the reasons people still follow and listen to her. Because of this, her demeanor has an air of mystery that makes it hard to completely write her off. Even while there may be a voice in the back of your mind telling you not to take everything she says at face value, she talks with such assurance and conviction that it's difficult to ignore her entirely. Diddy's history has already been the subject of scrutiny, with a variety of music industry figures leveling allegations against him, ranging from dubious business dealings to much more grave charges. Diddy has established a reputation as a clever businessman who isn't scared to make difficult choices over the years, but this has also given rise to accusations that he takes advantage of musicians for personal gain. Wright's remarks simply serve to stoke the flames of debate surrounding his connections with some of the musicians he has represented. Regardless of the veracity of her claims, the frequency with which these charges surface raises the possibility that Diddy is experiencing a perception issue with relation to his standing in the business. Regarding Nicki Minaj, she has been a powerful figure in the rap industry for a long time and has meticulously cultivated her public persona. Although she has been engaged in several conflicts over the years, none have been as severe as Wright's current allegations. Although Nikki has often shown that she is capable of overcoming hardship, these accusations have the potential to seriously harm her image if they get further momentum. Wright also brought up Drake, although neither he nor Diddy or Nikki have addressed any of these allegations. They'll probably decide to keep quiet since dealing with these rumors may frequently increase their visibility. However, before any official pronouncements are made, rumors like this may spread quickly in the social media era. It's unclear whether Wright's most recent remarks will get enough attention to compel a response from any of the parties. Those who follow these stories should keep in mind that accusations without supporting documentation should always be handled with caution in the meantime. It's always better to wait for hard evidence before drawing judgments, even if it might be tempting to trust the most dramatic accounts of occurrences. Nevertheless, it is hard to fully discount Jaguar Wright's statements, given her history of making startling assertions that sometimes out to be accurate. It remains to be seen whether these most recent accusations will turn out to be just another example of her accuracy, or if they will eventually become only rumors. 
Jaguar Wright has sparked controversy once again with his shocking claims on Nicki Minaj, Diddy, and Meek Mill. Wright claims that because of her strong friendship with Diddy at the time, Nicki Minaj supposedly didn't want to publish a video that included Diddy and Meek Mill. Even though it's unknown what the video contains, many people are surprised that it even exists. According to Jaguar, Nikki took things into her own hands when Diddy was recently arrested. She reportedly paid off Diddy's former security to divulge or expose information as retaliation. This charge illustrates the long-standing hostilities between two well-known people. According to Wright's account, Nikki, who is renowned for her calculated actions in the business, allegedly used Diddy's legal issues as a chance to get revenge. If these allegations are accurate, it would imply that Nikki waited for the ideal opportunity to take action since she had unresolved concerns with Diddy for a long time. The drama doesn't stop there, however. Wright said that several of Nikki Minaj's earlier interviews and social media posts, many of which at the time sounded cryptic, have been re-examined by fans. Jaguar specifically brings up Nikki's remarks on DL guys. Slain for males who have relationships with other men in private while posing as straight in public. Jaguar now implies that Nikki's ex-partner Meek Mill was the true target of these comments. Because Nikki used ambiguous language and didn't specifically identify anybody, most people at the time weren't sure who she was referring to. But with Wright's fresh perspective, some people are beginning to question if Nikki was quietly voicing her displeasure with Meek. Jaguar went into further detail by referencing a previous radio interview in which Nikki Minaj seems to allude to a boyfriend being secretive. Wright claims that while Nikki did not mention Meek Mill at the time, she was making a reference to him in the interview. The interview seemed confusing to many listeners at the time, but after hearing Wright's assertions, it now makes more sense, raising the possibility that Nikki and Meek were more tense behind the scenes than the public was aware of. And it doesn't stop there. Wright said that Nikki allegedly spoke with Soulja Boy and other business professionals about this matter. Wright implies that Nikki had discussed the subject of down-low males in the music business on several occasions, However, it's unclear precisely what was said between them. Given how secretive Nikki is about her relationships, this revelation has further spurred discussion among fans. Regardless of the veracity of these allegations, Jaguar Wright's remarks have once again shown the complex ties in the music business. Public personalities Nikki Minaj, Diddy, and Meek Mill have all carefully chosen their photos over the years, but Wright's claims suggest that there is a lot more going on behind the scenes than what the general public usually sees. All three artists' fans are now forced to question how much of this turmoil is true and how much is just gossip. If there is any validity to the claim that Nicki Minaj paid off Diddy's former security in order to get retribution, it may indicate a degree of hostility between the two that few had previously anticipated. Furthermore, if Nikki really did use her position to make subtle jabs at her former partner, Meek Mill, it raises the possibility that their relationship was more tense than it first seemed. It's unclear whether these rumors will ever be completely validated, but Jaguar Wright's most recent remarks have undoubtedly reignited the gossip, prompting fans to speculate about what may have really transpired behind closed doors. Many people were unaware of the potential target of Nikki Minev's cryptic remarks regarding DL guys in interviews and on social media at the time. However, in light of Jaguar Wright's recent accusations, some internet users have gone back and reviewed those earlier messages and videos in an effort to read between the lines. There was even a comment that suggested Nikki was referring to Meek Mill in those ambiguous remarks. Now it's obvious who she was talking about. Discussions have been rekindled as a result, with both fans and analysts seeing her interviews through this fresh perspective. Nikki's devoted fan group, nicknamed as The Barves, 
has hurried to her defense in spite of these resurfaced allegations and the mounting conjecture. Nikki's reputation has always been carefully protected by the bars, and this time is no different. Many of them are denying the accusations, stating that Nikki would never engage in such scandalous activities, particularly with someone like Diddy, whose name has been associated with controversy for a long time. They contend that Nikki's career and integrity are more than these accusations, and that people are just looking for methods to undermine her. Some of Nikki's followers have also brought attention to what they see to be a persistent internet pattern. Celebrities are often drawn into Diddy-related disputes, especially in the era of cancel culture. They contend that others, particularly those who have been connected to Diddy in a professional capacity, are unjustly associated with his name because to his past and the many accusations made against him. According to this viewpoint, Nikki's name is being brought up just because Diddy used to be her manager and not because she is connected to any dubious activities. The Barbs often argue that Nikki has always been too smart and cunning to become involved in any kind of controversy or improper conduct. They contend that, considering how long Nikki has been in the public spotlight, any true dirt on her should have surfaced by now. They also highlight how Nikki has been able to sustain her reputation for years, which they believe strengthens the argument that she is being unjustly singled out in this case. However, this discussion is unlikely to stop anytime soon since the internet loves drama and lives on conspiracy. Theories about Nikki's purported conflict with Meek Mill or her potential connections to Diddy's scandals are still circulating as more people go back and look at her earlier interviews and cryptic messages. However, Nikki's devoted followers aren't going to allow anybody damage her name without a fight since they still firmly believe that she is innocent. Ultimately, there is a clear gulf between Nikki Minev's defenders and those who doubt her involvement in these accusations. While some people are certain that Jaguar Wright's allegations are just another effort to discredit a famous person, others are looking back at Nikki's earlier remarks with fresh insight, certain that she may have been hinting all along. In any case, it's obvious that this myth will persist, particularly as more people start to make the connections between these well-known individuals. Although Nicki Minaj's success is evidence of her revolutionary impact on the music business, her lack of Grammy recognition has been a persistent source of contention. Nicki still hasn't won a Grammy, despite her enormous influence on hip-hop and the larger music industry. She has mentioned how she feels ignored, as half her admirers. Never forget the Grammys didn't give me my Best New Artist award when I had seven songs simultaneously charting on Billboard and a bigger first week than any female rapper in the last decade, Nikki said in a previous statement, expressing her dissatisfaction. Continued to inspire generations. This demonstrates her conviction that the business has overlooked her accomplishments, especially at the Grammys, despite her indisputable success and impact. Many of her followers feel that her contributions to music and society should have earned her a Grammy Award long ago. Thus, this feeling strikes a deep chord with them. Notable accomplishments include Nikki's number one singles, her domination in the rap industry as a woman, and her impact on upcoming artists. She should have been a clear winner of the Grammys given her financial success and cultural influence yet she has mostly been overlooked. This has caused a lot of people to wonder whether business politics prevented Nikki from winning the prized honor. Any claims that Nikki was engaged in unethical transactions with Diddy or that she rose in the business via dubious methods are refuted by her continued lack of recognition among her devoted fan base. She was blackballed for like six years, one admirer said expressing this viewpoint. Prior to Say So with Dova in 2020, while it was still at the top of the charts, she was not into radio from around 2014 to 2016. 
Therefore, indifference was not the cause. Being one of Diddy's chicks and nearly trying to succeed would have made her life simpler. This viewpoint emphasizes that Nikki probably wouldn't 